Hello, and welcome to Quadratic. My name's Cole, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through our tool. Quadratic is a browser-based AI spreadsheet that goes beyond the power of traditional formulas, offering native support for coding languages like Python, JavaScript, and SQL, enabling you to do powerful data analysis, create interactive charts, and pull data directly from APIs and databases. Let's jump in. First things first, head over to quadratichq.com. Then you'll just click this button, or you could visit app.quadratichq.com. You'll need to sign in first, but here I'm taken straight to the dashboard. Quadratic is organized around teams, so you'll have your personal workspace here on the left, and I'm looking at files that were created by anyone on my team. You can manage access and permissions in the members section. You can set up new database connections directly to Postgres, MySQL, and other databases and data warehouses right here. You can see I have a few set up already. In your settings, you can manage billing. If you'd like to start off with a, a template, you could see our collection here from uh, our own team, as well as community members. Let's jump in and create a new file. At the top, you'll see the main toolbar with familiar spreadsheet functionalities. These are formatting options, just like you'd see in Excel or Google Sheets. The first thing you'll want to do is add data. You could use this little handy toolbar here, or you can go to Insert, Data. You can insert data directly from a CSV, Excel, or Parquet file right here. You can initiate an API request via JavaScript or Python here or you can establish a database connection like we showed earlier. This option is also available here. To insert a new code cell, simply press slash. This will bring up a menu where you can start a Python formula or JavaScript cell. This is also available here. To navigate around your spreadsheet, you can use a trackpad or mouse to scroll. You can hold shift and scroll to go horizontally. You can hold spacebar and drag, or you can zoom with your trackpad like a canvas. To get back to 100, simply click here. On the left side, you'll see our primary AI chat that has the context of your entire spreadsheet. You can see the context denoted here. You could switch between different AI models like Cloud 3.7 Sonnet and GPT-40 to generate formulas, code, sample data, or just to ask questions about your data that's existing on your spreadsheet. If you click into a code cell, you could see a code chat here as well that's more focused on the code that you have written within that cell. Quadratic makes it easy to work with data from multiple sources. If you have a database, you can connect directly to it. Once connected, you could view the schemas and open a new file with a selected table. From here, you can run SQL queries like this to add more data. You could also use the code chat to generate this for you. You can see that the AI in Quadratic is not just giving you black box answers. Rather, it's generating the code for you that you can either uh, accept or decline after reviewing it. If you prefer a simpler approach, simply drag and drop a CSV file or Excel file or Parquet file directly into your spreadsheet. It'll turn this data into a table, which you can then sort, filter with AI, and reference these tables and columns in your code and formulas. You can also ask the AI to generate sample data for you. To calculate something, say a simple sum of a column, you could just type into the spreadsheet like you normally would. Select the column, hit enter. But if you want to do something more advanced, say with Python, you could type in your code and run it. I don't know how to write Python, so say you run into an error while writing your code, you could just click this button and it'll fix it in the chat. It wrote something much more complex than what I was able to do. You can also ask the AI chat on the left-hand side to do these calculations for you. Here, I'm asking it to create a bar chart for me. It's going to write some Python code to power this chart and display it here. You can open the code editor, read the code, adapt it, and ask questions about it in the chat here. Quadratic will modify this Python code depending on what you ask it. Simply accept it or reject it. Quadratic is browser-based, so collaboration is built in. Just click the share button, add the email of your colleague, or give access in a public link that you can share. Thanks for taking this quick tour of Quadratic with me. Today we covered how to navigate the spreadsheet, do some formatting, connect your data, or drag and drop a CSV, Excel, or Parquet file, use the AI Assistant, write some code, 
and collaborate with your team. If you want more detailed tutorials, check out more videos on our YouTube, check out our documentation, our community forums, or reach out to our support team. Thank you for watching, and we hope you sign up and give us some feedback as you go along with your data analysis journey.